Howdy y'all, Dr. K. It is December 6th, and you'll have to click the link below to find out what actual day of the week it is. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so here we are, middle of week seven. Mm, all right, a couple of things. First of all, I want to give some very big shout outs. For the blog work last week, <clears throat> in particular, if you get the opportunity, I promise it's worth it. Go back and take a look at the week, week six, week six blog posts and the Pinterest boards and the thinking of Trish, Harry, Bob, and Renee. All four of them did an outstanding job, each in their own individual way, of integrating, truly integrating theory with their affective and behavioral domains of understanding, because theory is nothing but a cognitive construct, right? And they took all of that internal work together, and they synthesized it through the lens of their practice, and they, they really explored what Pinterest had to offer through that lens. It's not about the tool. It's about the affordances of the tool. And by examining affordances, what a tool offers us, our students, socially constructed, individually explored, whatever. When we're able to put that together, it empowers us so much to not only be more informed about taking different chances, trying new things, putting together curriculum, facilitating on the fly, all of that. But here's what even might be more important. It gives us a grounded way to discuss what we're doing with our peers, with our, our, our students' parents or families, with our students, with administrators, with design. With, it gives us a shared language, kind of like where we started at the very beginning of this class, just trying to get all right, who are we? Who are you? Where are you coming with tech? What do you think a 21st century teacher is? It was a starting place. In no way, shape, or form were we all expected to know the same terms and have shared experiences. When we're able to truly synthesize experiences and what we see as far as potential possibility, ABC, the cognitive, along with the affective, what we value, and the behavior, what we choose to do. We are truly giving what can be an overwhelming process. I have to serve all these students, and each one has different needs, and, and there's so many demands on what's coming down the pipeline. I've got to prepare my learners for X and Y and Z and A and B and C all at the same time, which is why being able to identify parallels to juxtapose the affordances of the experience with the theory. It gives you something solid to hang your hat on as you're making decisions, designing assessments, in dealing with students right there on the fly, talking to your peers on the instructional level. It's worth it, I promise you. And it's a deeper experience, right? It's a deeper experience to try and synthesize all three of those domains, the affective, the behavioral, and the cognitive at the same time when you're really engaging in experiencing something new, testing a new tool, and trying to synthesize that with theory. So again, if you get the chance, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I don't know if you remember, I live in Santa Monica, and as I'm speaking right now, my son's school is closed, the 405 is closed, there's fires everywhere, and we're, we're out of danger, we're, there's no problem here, but the smoke for the past two days, <clears throat> so please excuse me. If you have the opportunity, Trisha's blog, blob, Trisha's blog week six, Harry's blog week six, Bob's blog week six, Renee's blog week six, all of them in different ways did exactly what I just described. All right? And other people did too, but those really stood out to me as, wow, yeah, okay? So recognize that Pinterest, this 
seemingly ridiculous, unimportant little tool. Okay, yeah, throw a bunch of recipes together. You were truly engaging with an authentic COP. Nobody pins a pin if they don't care. They don't find some value in it. There's something there for them to go, ooh, I need to hold on to this, or ooh, I need to share this. You're truly engaging with the community of people who are passionate and involved in that practice. Recognize one other thing, and I mentioned this specifically to a couple of people, but I think it's worth reminding everyone. With a board, a Pinterest board or Lino, if you do that kind of thing, curating, it's an opportunity for the online instructor to ensure that not just, again, cognitively and behaviorally, what you're seeing the student do aligns with who you have come to know that person to be, right? Okay, yeah, that one has a weird sense of humor, and that one likes to really that, and this one. Okay, you come to know your students. You have a relationship. You understand who they are. If you see something on a board that doesn't match who that person is that you've come to know, that's a cue. That's a clue. That's when you reach out with an email. Hey, uh, Frida, uh, you did some really great cognitive work with your uh, curating this week, but a couple of the pins were, I don't know, the voice was a little dark. It didn't sound like the you that I know. Could you please shoot me an email? Let me know you're okay. I can't tell you the number of times when these kinds of things have happened where I've reached out to students and they've emailed me back and go, how in the world did you know that this or that or the, how in the world did you know? Okay? These relationships are real. Every single thing that we have our students do should be another opportunity, not just to ensure, again, cognitive and behavioral growth, but the affective has to be there too. All right. Uh, now, I've got one other thing to tell you. Uh, next week, <clears throat> the feedback will probably be slower, and I won't be writing as much. I don't know if I'll be able to make videos. Why? Because tomorrow night, Thursday night, uh, which should tell you what day it is, I am actually leaving for London to present a paper uh, at the London International Conference of Education, which should, the acronym is LICE. Ugh, okay. Uh, but, and this is relevant to us here, I am presenting a paper on a new construct, and you guys are probably going, oh, of course she is, uh, a new framework for how to design online learning for adults. We're calling this, myself and my partner, uh, Dr. Lynn Larson, the Associate Dean for our program. Uh, we've been working on this for about a year now, and we call it Virtual Andragogy. Uh, the Art and Science of Designing Transformational Online Learning for Adults. And you see, truly, I practice what I preach, my friends. It's all about the journey where the student is in the center of the experience. Uh, the whole of it is predicated upon being an authentic, engaged practitioner, whether at the beginning it's peripheral, moving you into being masterful with the practice. Uh, always with the affective, behavioral, and cognitive at the core. And uh, there's the principles of andragogy and Bloom's revised taxonomy. This is a continuously spiraling process. Um, so when, again, I tell you, I really do practice what I preach when it comes to this stuff. So we're presenting that. It's still a work in progress. It's still very messy, but it's coming together. And uh, very well when you guys finish this whole program, uh, I will probably be reaching out to you with some surveys and opinion stuff, uh, but that's another story, and uh, I've kept you way longer than I meant to. I, I'm sorry. So please understand next week, if there's not as much specific text-heavy feedback, uh, and I don't know if I'll be able to make videos, I have to wait and see, because I'll be at the conference. All right, here we go, my friends. Oh, don't forget... You still can sign up for the week eight meeting. If you're busy, it's the end of the year. Instead of coming to the live meeting, you would rather record your presentation and then just do a brief reflection on one of the two archives that I post. That option is there, okay? I'm be being genuine. Don't feel like if you take that option, you're going to get dinged in any way. Not at all. It's just 
fair equal opportunity for you to demonstrate your mastery. Okay, onward! Da -da -da -da.